Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's have a look at the energy surrounding you and the person on your mind the most. Three cards please. Okay, wise. Time to say goodbye. And marriage. Okay, I think this is going to be a big surprise for you. I feel that somebody that you said goodbye to quite a while ago is going to pop up in your life again and want to recommit, okay? But I really feel they're going to pop up out of nowhere. You're either going to bump into them out of the blue, okay? Or they're going to make some form of contact. But I feel you're going to bump into this person. There's going to be a series of events that when you look back, you'll think, gosh, that's how it happened. You're going to bump into this person. All right, and they're going to want to recommit to you. They miss your trustworthiness and your optimism, okay? So they feel that you as a person are very trustworthy and very optimistic um, and very caring as well. They miss your caring nature. Possibly you cared a little bit too much, um, However, I just feel they've never forgotten that. Wherever they go, whatever they're doing, they keep circling back to you, okay? I'm just hearing to say that you left your mark on them. You left your mark on them that whatever happened in the end, however this ended, they don't remember that particularly what they just seem to be focusing on now is your very very caring nature now you could say to me you could quite rightly say to you okay i never want to see this person again um etc etc but for some of you i feel you will do it's going to be a shock though okay it's going to be a shock and they're going to tell you yeah wheel of fortune this is coming back round again. This is definitely coming back round again. But it's just going to be such a shock to you. Because I think you've just got this sort of um, dead and buried, really. Over. Completely finitoed, kaput, finished. Righty-ho. Let's see what else wants to come out. Just while I'm shuffling these, though, thanks so much for watching. And if you would like a personal reading, if you just click on the title of this video if you're on a mobile. And um, everything's in the description box. And also check out the free relationship report as well. Okay. Yep. Whoa, they regret leaving you they regret leaving you they're still holding on to you massively they're looking at all the things you did all the places you went etc etc okay there's a situation that they are in at the moment that they're going to walk away from they're saying goodbye to something okay they could be moving literally physically moving but they're going to find the emotional strength to let go of a situation they are in. And what they want to offer you is the Ten of Pentacles. Whoa. They want the stability, the house, living together. Somebody wants the whole works here. Okay. If you were married, um, this is definitely for you, I feel. Okay. Even if you subsequently got divorced, I just feel that somebody is coming back in and they want to do this again. I think that's why this is just going to be such a shock for someone. This isn't a reading if you've just broken up or you haven't known somebody that long. You were either married to this person or in a relationship with them for a number of years. And there's also, I can see children here. You had close family connections, okay? So you knew their family, they knew your family, um, in-laws, that kind of energy I've got. All right, this is going to be such a shock. But the Wheel of Fortune, it's coming back round again. It's coming back round again. And they've been waiting, waiting and waiting and waiting. They've never let go of you, you know. 
I must say that, that they've never let go of you, even though you've been apart and you've heard nothing from them or they've moved on with their life and you've done something different with yours. This person's never, ever let go of you. They've always wondered if only they hadn't done something, things would have been different. Yeah, they became very emotionally cold. This is their energy. They became very emotionally cold towards you. They could have been quite manipulative with their words. They were sharp. They cut you out of their life. For some of you, they dumped all their responsibilities, okay? They could have been cruel, you know, really, really quite cold and cruel. Um, and they cut you off as if all the years you'd had together never mattered. Okay, person could be an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, strong Aquarian energy. Um, but instead of looking back at the past, what this person's going to do is they're going to face this head on. For quite a long time, your person's been wondering, so they've never let go of you. They've never let go of you. They've never forgotten you. Even if it appears that way, because I can see from this card that you've been, you know, just cut off really. Um, you could have had a messy divorce or a messy breakup where there were lawyers involved in this disconnection, which also uh, then even more rude things were said than should have been said. But they do regret it. Most definitely regret it, but it's going to be such a surprise. Anything else? Yeah, that wants to come out. What's that one? Ah, your energy. Got the couple, right. Okay. Yeah, I'm definitely getting someone who's either been, been through some sort of divorce or massive breakup after a good number of years together. Um... You do think this is over. You definitely, definitely think this is over. I'm not sure with your energy in this one, you could also be an air sign. I've got a lot of air energy here, um, specifically Aquarian energy today, the Six of um, six of Swords as well. You could be thinking, literally just thinking, I'm not doing this. I'm not doing it, okay? This person really let you down. This person really, really, really let you down. Uh, to the point, and there's nothing wrong in that, that when it first happened, you were angry, maybe a bit bitter, but that's understandable because I feel this person was spiteful. Okay, that's a nice way of putting it. They were spiteful towards you, okay? And towards the end in your relation, there was no emotion. You could have been just hardly talking to each other and the words that were spoken were just cruel, sharp and spiteful, okay? You, in this energy, are not expecting to hear from this person again, but you are going to. That's what I really can't get, you know, today it's just so unexpected. It's one of those things, you hear somebody tell the story and you're like, what? What? They've never come back. They've never come back after all this time. Yeah. What do they feel about you? What do they feel about you with my tarot? Yeah. Okay, they want an opportunity to talk to you, okay, um, I feel with this card and that card, they regret, this was really horrible ending, this was a horrible ending, I can see that with that card, there's a lot of swords here, there was a lot of trauma, a lot of upset, a lot of drama, your person went all out to win when you split, Okay, all out to win. And this hardened you because it had to. That's what I was getting to say earlier. If you did become bitter, it's no wonder. 
okay? They really try to destroy you. They try to destroy you. They've turned other people against you. I feel somebody used the court system here or the banking system. Someone could have been hiding money. They definitely didn't pay what they were owing. And if they did, they were literally dragged to the place to pay it. And you hardened up after this. You wised up. You turned your back on it. You eventually rose above it. And you're going to be really shocked. This person did mess with your mind in the past. Okay, they, they did mess with your mind. It was word games, okay? Word games, they played a lot of word games with you. Let's get some advice for you. Yeah, get very clear on what you want. Speak your truth. Just speak your truth, okay? Continue to speak your truth because I can see you really have to toughen up. You know, you were very caring. You were very, very, very trusting before all of this happened, okay? But with this card, it is speak your truth when this person comes back in. And if you don't want them back in, don't have them back in. Okay, don't have them back in. Lot of swords. Yeah, there's your energy, Queen of Cups. Set your boundaries, speak your truth. Okay, it's nice to be trusting, it's nice to be caring. But don't let somebody overstep your boundaries again, which I don't think you will do. Whoever I'm reading on today, I feel that you've realised that you were very, very kind and empathetic and you still are. However, you're not afraid to say no now. You're not afraid if you stand up for yourself, people don't want to speak to you. Well, you just, that's their loss, isn't it? You know, no is a one sentence word. You're not afraid to speak up for yourself now. You're really, really worked on that side of you because I can see that this person was really spiteful. Really, really spiteful. Um, and like I say, could have dragged somebody through the courts, okay? Because they were very focused on the material aspects properties, money, don't want to give you any, etc, etc, etc. Why does this person want to come back now? Why is it... Uh, something big's go. I just feel something big's happening because they're coming in and it's such a shock. Yeah, whoa. Okay. They're not doing too well. They're losing their independence and freedom in something and I think it's financial. Okay, very short, quick answer, but that's what I've seen with that card coming out in the reverse, that they're not doing too well. Okay, um, so by losing their independence, they could be losing their property, their job, their business, whatever it is, okay, but they're not doing too well on the physical level, they're not doing too well financially, and they're not doing too well with their self-esteem, their self-esteem's low. I think this person put a lot of store by what they could have with possessions, but that's why they're coming in suddenly. They might need somewhere to live, okay? They might need somewhere to live. Let me just give me another couple of cards, please, on this. People don't believe in me, yeah, sort of saying. No, people don't believe in them. Their, their self-esteem is low. Something's gone wrong. Something's gone wrong. Their, their gilded lifestyle. And by that, I don't mean they have to be mega rich. Okay. But the lifestyle they built for themselves, that they excluded you from, and they did exclude you financially from something, is now falling apart. And the people surrounding them don't believe in them. Okay, I think they've 
they've told a story about something that they were capable of doing, but they weren't really capable. And it's all falling apart now. This is just going to be a shock, though. It's just going to be a shock. People don't believe in me. Anything else, please? The way I have treated you was wrong. Hmm. <laughs> Why can't I move on from you? I am blocked. Yeah, you've got this person blocked. It is all too much. Your person's struggling. They need a shoulder to cry on and they're hoping that you will be the shoulder. I mean, will you be that shoulder for them to cry on? Because this is, this is coming like a bolt out of the blue. For some, it's not as if you even parted. Like, relationships break down. It's life. It happens. But there's ways of doing it where both parties can start again or it's done equally. But there was something that happened here where they wanted everything. Even though they were being spiteful, they then also wanted the extra car or this or that. Nothing. They wouldn't just hand over anything to you without a stupid fight. Okay, just with that stupid, stupid, unnecessary, childish fight. Okay. Anything else on their environment, please? Between worlds. Yeah. They're, they've got to move on from it. Okay. They're in quite a grey place at the moment. They're not in a good place. Okay. And they're hoping that you will speak to them, that you will take take them back in, but you will, you will be there to help them, okay? You will be there to help them because things are not, things are not working out, not working out at all. Let's say there's something, I feel this person could diss their responsibilities and they could have these ideas to do things, but then it never, it never took off. But something they've got involved with, they haven't finished it, okay? And other people got involved in, in, in this and now other people don't believe them. So, but they're going to come back in, shock horror today. Anything else? The moon. You, right, okay, I think you're being asked really to concentrate on your life still, just follow the path you're following because this situation is really, really, really murky, okay, really murky, um, your person is in victim mode, this past person, and they're going to bring that energy in with them, okay, uh, have they changed? Mm, I'm not so sure myself today. I, I feel that they they never let go of you. I, I do feel that. I feel that very strongly. But for me, if this was my reading, there would be just too much uncertainty, possibly lies, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of... If you never quite knowing if they were telling you the truth, even if that wasn't intentional on their part, you'd never quite know if they were telling you the truth. So you're being asked to continue with your hobbies, your social life, keep walking forward towards your future, but this person, whoever this is for today, is going to come back. Okay. Totally out of the blue, like a catapult. Um, it's like you just go to bed one day and you're doing your own thing and the next day there they are there they are so i'll leave that with you uh, i hope that's helped someone today bit of a shock reading really though um but it does happen i've seen it many times people just appear out of nowhere years later that's what this is about today so Take good care of yourselves. Remember, focus on you. Just keep walking your own path. Don't get dragged into the dirty, murky depths of everything to do with this person, okay? Um, I think they're going to be embarrassed to tell you the whole truth of what they've been up to, okay? 
because there's a lot of people now who don't believe in them and I think they're going to be a little bit embarrassed so I don't think you're going to get the whole story here. So, leave it with you, take good care, bye.